best way to put it is that a peer advisory group works as a reciprocal advisory board. Then, if they've got an issue, I'm part of their advisory board. And there's a lot of benefits. There's no fiduciary liability like there is on the board of a public company. It, this is just advice. Now you take it pretty seriously because these are successful people that have been there, done that, have skin in the game. And you also develop a relationship with them. You, in some sense, don't want to disappoint them. With yeah. If I start seeing how well I'm doing, if I'm not doing as well as somebody else, there's enough competitiveness in these people that if you shine the light on something, I'm going to get better at it. And uh, I think that's an important part of these. The ones I've seen that, and my real reason for wanting to put you is deal with business issues. But maybe it's technology, maybe it's people issues. Maybe it's due diligence on entering a new business. Maybe it's succession development and planning. Uh, and just dealing with an issue that I may be having with a bank or with a, a firm who's supplying me inputs or buying up on the in terms of the contract. There's there's always issues that come up. I just need a place besides just my own family that has maybe been there, done that, and can see it from a different perspective, even though in my family we'll have different opinions or my management team. We've all been part of this for a long time. I need somebody with a fresh set of eyes and not with a vested interest in it to just come and look and be candid. You need some times where somebody's gonna tell you something you don't like to hear, but you need to. Just as a general thing about peer groups, one, you get the band advantage of different perspectives. Hopefully, if you put the group together right from different people who've done it and who are very good at it. Bouncing ideas off people. I just want a sounding board to react to what I'm thinking about doing or to help me do the due diligence. Have I thought on the what if analysis? Have I thought about it? Uh, Needs-based training. We figure out we've got an area it's really important. We need to get somebody in, but then if you go get the best there is, I mean, some of these guys are from three to ten thousand bucks a day, and the cost of bringing them in would be a little prohibitive for me. But I have ten guys in my peer group, and they bring the specialist or somebody in their operation who works with us every day. So there may be fifteen or twenty of us. We share the cost. We get the best person there is. We also get the advantage of getting it when we want it. Mm -hmm. And we get the advantage of not just me asking my questions, but what are the questions that some other people ask that I didn't think about? In fact, there's one group I know that got to know each member really well, their, their families and other things. They've been together for about five years and the guy died. His peer group essentially operated as the mentor for his son and working with his wife to help them go through it because they knew enough about the business and this person to help make the transition much smoother than it would have been otherwise. I think they can work for anybody that is a commercial producer. I don't give you especially farm or general commodity. The issue is clearly one of them is going to be, are you willing to devote the time to it? Because it's going to take a few days a year. The other is it's going to cost something. Most of these groups are professionally facilitated to network together. Usually it isn't going to be neighbors, unless it's production topics only. And not direct competitors. We get far enough apart. Oftentimes the group are by invitation only. It isn't, let's just call a meeting and see who shows up. If you're going out over an area, you may have heard of somebody, but you don't really know them. And so usually these groups have to start off slowly and evolve. It's one good reason to have a really good facilitator who has the ability to read people, talk to them separately, work with the group to put together agenda and keep them on track. There's several, one if you had a group 
that you knew about, because there are some little individual groups, you might ask, would they be willing to have you sit in on a session where we're not going to be discussing financials? One, so you could see it, kind of get a feel for what they do, and the other, so they could get to know you. They might invite you in. The top producer executive network would be Farm Journal Media, Ag Web, others would be to either you can use that in the magazine or on Ag Web, see how to contact somebody. Julie DiTonale is the operations manager, but usually like one of their editors or something can find a way to get you through. Ag Web even has a place you can go to for information on the program.